This is Witchspace News for Friday the 23rd of October 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news... ...Marlinist refugees flee to Federation space... ...the finger of suspicion pointing at President Hudson... ...a new breathtaking video from Commander Placid... ...and a fleet carrier performs the incredible. If you enjoy this video remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and if you'd like to support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. There are rumblings of conflict between the forces of the Empire and the Federation this week as tens of thousands of Marlinist refugees fleeing persecution by the Empire are arriving in Federation space and claiming asylum. A couple of new community goals have sprung up this week in support of the refugees following the successful completion of the anti-Thargoid efforts in the Witchhead sector last week. This week one community goal is asking for aid convoys to deliver to a station being used as a distribution depot to get the aid out to the refugees and another community goal is asking for combat support to quash the inevitable rise in piracy that the region will see as a result of the influx of so much aid. While all this is ongoing the Empire are demanding of the now beleaguered Federal President Hudson ...more on that in a moment ...that what they're calling Marlinist criminals are rounded up and deported back to the Empire. In case you missed it recently ...all this started when a group advocating the anti-imperialist republican ideals of Marlin Duval bombed some imperial starports using warheads that utilised Thargoid technology that had been developed by engineer Liz Ryder. The outrage that killed thousands and took multiple starports offline was claimed by the extremist neo-Marlinist Liberation Army and whilst those directly responsible haven't yet been brought to justice the Empire has chosen, perhaps unwisely, to take a more blanket approach with the ideals of Marlinism in general and lock down systems that are known to be sympathetic to the Marlinist cause and round up citizens of those systems for... ...questioning. So that's nice. And it's those blanket imperial actions that have resulted in the refugee crisis we're now seeing building up in Federation space. You'll remember I referred to Federation President Hudson as beleaguered. Way back in 3301 Starship One, the official spaceship of then President Jasmina Halsey was blown up and destroyed by an act of sabotage. Whilst Halsey herself survived the attack hundreds were killed on the doomed vessel and the incident brought about the rise to power of President Zachary Hudson. It has recently transpired that the act of sabotage that destroyed Starship One was ordered by one of Hudson's closest aides, one Fleet Admiral Lucas Vincent. The implications are clear and the popularity of President Zachary Hudson in the galaxy of Elite Dangerous has never been lower. It's a matter of historical record that premiers and political leaders can often use a good war at a convenient moment to bolster their position and unite their people behind them against a common bogeyman that they will of course defend their now terrified populace from. It's entirely possible that the Imperials by banging so angrily on the door of the Federation are handing Hudson exactly the ammunition he needs to distract his people and defend his position and if the Imperial route doesn't work out well you can always shove a stick in a Thargoid nest and save humanity from that threat instead right? What do you think of all this? Have you been following the shenanigans of late and do you think a line can be drawn from all the recent threads on Galnet back to President Hudson? Sound off in the comments below. SPVFA regular and elite dangerous artist extraordinaire Commander Placid has this week smashed it out of the park yet again with a project that is a double whammy. The video entitled Beyond features images and footage created and edited by Commander Placid as well as music created for the video by the good commander and it's nothing short of stunning and was even featured on the Super Cruise News livestream by Frontier earlier this week. Placid is well known for his still images already of both the screenshot and constructed art variety and this gorgeous video is just another level yet again. If you haven't seen it already do yourself a favour, go drown in the stunning visuals and the beautiful audio work and subscribe to Placid's channel while you're there. 
And finally this week after 4 months and nearly a thousand jumps, Commander Tholma has become the first elite dangerous commander to circumnavigate the entire galaxy in a fleet carrier. Along the way Tholma kept the carrier refueled with a mix of mining and buying tritium from other fleet carriers and even sailed through the great tritium apocalypse and subsequent buff to fleet carrier jump capability. You can check out the waypoints the commander used and read all about the commanders adventures along the way in the forum post linked below and we've also linked a map of the route that the commander took. Currently the now historical fleet carrier the FC Nananchi is parked up at Beagle Point while its owner takes a rest and the fleet carrier owners club discord is planning their own community effort to get the carrier fully fueled with tritium again for its eventual return to Colonia. If you want to get involved in that everything you need is in the description below. Huge congratulations to Commander Tholma. Absolutely amazing effort. I love it that people just do things like this in Elite. Incredible. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.